Welcome Capricorn Aquarius to your Astro Dice reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, and don't forget to watch your Halloween Day of the Dead special. I have it under the Aquarius or Capricorn um, signs videos. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. And those of you who are new, this is where I take tarot with astrology and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay. Oh, what do you got? Venus. Nice. With some Aquarius energy in the third house. Very nice. Okay, going Venetian. The part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. Isn't it beautiful over here? Okay. And going on with some Aquarius energy. Going to bring in you some of your own energy over here this month. The energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. Yes, get that freedom-loving going on. Okay, and in the third house, we're talking about the third house. Of course, there's 12 houses, but we're only doing one of the 12th, which is the third. And of course, the third house is talking about the potentials of learning something or your your local neighborhood. But it's also talking about other things, right? You could even be learning something technological. Maybe you've got a new computer or something at work that you need to learn, um, something of this nature. Or it could be learning something about somebody else. Maybe you're learning something about a Taurus as well. Interesting. Okay. So, yes. Talking about the way you communicate, think, learn about your, it could be also your siblings, your brothers or your sisters. Okay, so let's get in this, see what's going on. Okay, getting straight into at the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. See what's going on in this third house. What are you learning about? Teacher, teaching, ah. So I just feel like the very beginning of the month, you are teaching something. You could be teaching someone to learn something, um, or you might have this teacher coming to teach you something. But there is something that has to definitely be learned, right? Talking about the teacher. Um, like I said, you might even have this Venus, uh, this Venetian coming in. It could be a Libra or a Torian coming in. Um, to help you succeed. So it does feel like you are learning or teaching something. Maybe you're teaching some something to someone else. Maybe you guys are learning together. Um, very beautiful. Underneath the Aquarius, it's talking about intuition and manifestation. Wow. Huh? And underneath the third house, it's a back and forth energy. Back and forth. Like I said, maybe you're doing the teacher. Maybe you guys are teaching each other or something going back and forth. Definitely learning something for sure. Um, but it seems like within your intuition over here, it's almost like... Some of you might be teachers or wanting to be teachers as well could be in college for being a teacher, but it does feel like however this is that you're using a lot of intuition and uh, within the, the beginning of the month. Let's see what's going on. So however you want to see it, something's being taught. <laughs> so take that how that resonates. Learning and teaching. But on the teacher, two of cups. I do see this union. I think it's a back and forth. I really, it's back and forth. It's you guys are teaching each other. I learn from you and then I teach you something. I Maybe you're teaching them how to use their intuition as well. Hmm. But it's bringing in a lot of success in the very beginning of the month. So whatever needs to be learned, taught, however... It's bringing in a lot of success um, within your own intuition. It's like it's opening your intuition up 
for better success um, within the third house. And this back and forth energy is definitely the perfect timing. So I don't feel like the back and forth energy is anything of an emotion. It's not the emotions of like, you know, positive to negative. It's actually like I am, we're teaching each other is really what it feels like. It could even be your love. Maybe you're even teaching your love how to open up their own intuition or you guys are teaching um, spiritual teaching hmm. for some of you. But it just feels like it's the perfect time at this time to be able to open up and do this, um, whatever this teaching and learning is um, with the third house. It might even be, you know, a best friend, something of this nature. Very beautiful. And you have the success, and I see the success here with the Navina. So it's a very successful thing that's going on. And it does bring in a lot of, I, I do believe that it does bring in a lot of desire um, because it, it feels like whatever, it's something you really want. Right, so it's it's something you desire to have this connection with or desire to want to learn or to teach this person. It, it, I do feel the freedom loving over here. So going to the mid-month over here, my friends, let's see what's going on over here. Letting go, but you're not letting go. Your higher self, it feels like it's a, a learning of a, of a more, maybe more spiritual type of thing. But you're not letting anything go over here. Um, it almost feels like you, it feels like you were going to let something go or let somebody go. Um, and then all of a sudden you didn't want to do that. Just so you're holding tight to it instead. Um, let's figure out why. Why didn't you let them go or let this go? So it feels like whatever's going on in the mid-month, maybe you found a new love, someone that you guys are dedicated in teaching and, and learning of the same spiritual aspects or something of this nature, and then you were going to let this other person go, but you didn't let them go. Why didn't you not let them go? Or let something go? It feels like it was not a person. It feels like it's an idea. It's something. I was going to let them go. But it was, it's, it was like a learned, maybe a job. Maybe it was, for some of you, your bosses, you were going to let this, we're going to say Sagittarius go, um, but then you decided not to let them go. You decided to use your higher self and said, you know what, I understand that you had some problems behind, you know, but I don't really believe that you mask that. I don't believe that, um... You were really meant to like hide that from me. I think it was more of you're going to let it go uh, in a different kind of way. Like I'm not going to, you know, see what I'm saying? So I feel like whatever was going on over here, um, you decided that they weren't really lying to you about this situation. Maybe it was just a friend. Um, whatever the situation is, and they have learned from their mistakes and you've learned that it wasn't, you learned behind the mask that they really weren't lying to you. Um, it's an inference and there's that Venus again. So instead of letting them go, you've been nurturing the situation. They have learned something. You have learned something from each other. This feels like a whole different energy, though, guys. It's not. I don't. It's not this person up here. This is some something different um, that comes up in the mid month, and you're saying, "Well, I thought you were hiding something from me, and I thought this whole time you were lying to me um, about the situation." But the more you get into your higher self, you're saying, "You know what? You weren't lying because behind the mask is upside down." So whatever they you felt that they were hiding from you, you use your intuition, and you're saying, "Okay, you built your own dark cloud around you. I have learned." that you were not lying about this situation. So, you know, I'm going to take a partial death to it, meaning I'm watching it and I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I'm not going to end this, right? I'm not going to end this because you didn't really lie to me, but I am watching you, right? Um, to make sure that you're, you know, my intuition is right. 
So instead, you are moving forward with what you've learned, um, definitely what you've learned with the Queen of Swords, and you're actually giving them a little more compassion because somehow or another, you believe that someone had lied to you, and it could be even through third-party situation, just saying. Um, because in seriousness, I have the three of imprints over here, and I'm really feeling like it was hearsay on someone, and they wanted you to believe that they were lying. Um, and you're finding out that they didn't really lie. If anything, it was this other person who was making up stories. Um, and using your higher intuition, you realize that, that they were just kind of um, the mid-month. I just want to say getting into business that they shouldn't be in. And this is what you've learned. And like I said, it has nothing to do with this person over here about what you're learning. This is something so different, right? But you're trying to stay calm and cool about it, but you are kind of watching the situation. But the only reason you have your kind of, you know, antenna out, I guess we'd say, you know from your higher self that they weren't because they were licking their wounds too hard. They kept telling you that they didn't do this. And I do really believe that they didn't do it. The behind the mask is upside down, right? If anything, this other person is starting some stuff at mid-month. Um, or maybe it even started before that, and this person comes to say something to you. But you're going to find out the truth, and that's what this is all about, is finding out the truth. This is Lady Karma over here for doing a spiritual reading, and she is coming up with the truth. And she's saying, yeah, the truth is, you know, you are absolutely right on target over here about what you learned and using your intuition. And now look, you're using your intuition in the mid month. So more or the beginning of the month, excuse me. So more than anything, it's just rolling over to uh, the mid month and you're starting to find out the truth about things. And you're saying, wait a second. So at the end of the month, end of the month, there's a lot of joyous fun going on with the Venus, of course. Look at Venus going on over there, having some beauty and desire and some good old times. Um, but you have this victim mentality. So you do have this person who's now coming up playing victim mentality. Why do you have so many people? You guys deal with a lot of people. Take it how it resonates, okay? <sighs> because you have so many people on this board. You have a cancer. You have a fire sign. And it looks like we definitely have a um, an air sign. <sighs> so... You have the victim mentality over here, so whichever one of these, right? So what are we doing over here? Planning and action. So you're having some joyous fun, but you have this person around you who's playing victim about the whole situation with the planning and action. Why do I think that the person who's playing victim is the one that, but, oh my gosh. So it looks like you're teaching and, and loving and learning with something over here which could be a person. Now, if you know that that's not a person, maybe it's a new job, it's something that you're enjoying, then we can just knock that one out and say, okay, that's not a person. Um, but then you have the person over here who's saying something about another person. This person's getting upset because they're saying, I didn't do that. And that, to me, seems like that could be the cancer who is saying, I didn't do that. And then it looks like the fire sign is the one that gets caught lying and then, of course, this one up here could be the air sign or one or the other, whatever, right? Oh, my gosh. So we're just going to say the one that's playing in a play victim is the one that got caught lying about trying to make, throwing the other person under the bus that you've come to the conclusion and said, oh, they didn't do that. You're lying for whatever reason. Maybe they want you back or something, right? So, so we're going to say they're the ones because I know for a fact they're the ones playing victim now. They're saying, 
you know, because they darkened your days by trying to make you believe something that wasn't true about this other person. So now all of a sudden they're playing victim. You're thinking and planning and have this text message that makes you so happy. You have this text that makes you so happy. Um, yeah. And you're moving up the scales over here with the strength card. So this is bringing in this, this ultimate strength and you're saying yes. So having a good time, um, there's going to be a lot of good times in the end of the month. So get ready for that. But then you have this person over here that wants to play a victim and you're learning that now all of a sudden they want to play victim because they have three of swords. So they're saying, you're not believing me. You let go of me. Um, look, the only, and this one over here says, I didn't even let go of anybody. I just came to the conclusion you were lying, but now they're playing victim over here, acting like they didn't do something wrong. Maybe it is the earth sign. Now I have a Capricorn coming up who's playing victim. Um, it could be a Capricorn or a Virgo or a Taurus. I was thinking it was a fire sign, but now it's coming up as this earth sign. So we'll just say the earth sign. Patiently planning and continuing to keep moving forward at the end of the month with the king of wands. So it could be the king of wands that you was thrown under the bus. Wow, what a story. There's so many different people up here. We do know one thing. They were lying about them to throw them under the bus that you didn't like this person. And now they want to come back at the end and act like they're the victim. Once you said, no, I don't think they're lying. That's plain, that's plain and simple. And that's what you're learning. You're learning that this person is throwing, is throwing a temper tantrum, throwing people under the bus for whatever reason they want. It could be at work. It could be that they're jealous that you were teaching them something. Um, Wow. But you're taking the, back the control and you're patiently planning about how to keep the control and to keep everything under control. And like I said, you know, this could be a sister or a brother or somebody of this nature. I keep thinking, though, that the reason you're not going to let this other person go is because it could be a family member who's maybe trying to throw your girlfriend or boyfriend or somebody or a friend under the bus. I keep thinking it's family um, and you're learning about this. Um, so you're just kind of letting the issue go. Um but you're not going to let go of this boyfriend or girlfriend because you find out that this, I mean, say a family member, guys, I feel like it's a family member is lying. Maybe they, your mom doesn't like this person. Maybe it's your ex-wife or husband or somebody. I don't know. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.